Right now for an update on breaking news involving the man suspected in six local murders. Only local four cameras were there as the manhunt for Kenyell Brown ended with this scene in Oak Park. We're told Brown shot himself as police closed in on him. Victor Williams live at the scene tonight where Brown was put in an ambulance and rushed away, Victor. Yes, that's what happened. This was a very intense situation and we were there to see it all going down right here in the backyard of this home. We're hearing gunfire. The search for suspected serial killer Kenyell Brown officially came to an end in Oak Park Monday afternoon with only our cameras rolling as officers cornered him into the backyard of a home on Ridgedale. All this happening after he was seen out in the open at a local bookstore. At some point, Oak Park and our officers after there was a canine search, saw him. And officers weren't the only ones to see Brown making a run for it. A woman looked out of her back window and saw a fugitive making a way through her yard. The first thing she decided to do was call her mother. She said, Mama, he in my backyard. He dressed in all black. I said, call the police. Call the police, honey. She called the police. I drove back and here it is. <laughs> However, as Brown realized officers were closing in, he decided to turn the gun on himself. He fired a single shot uh, into his head. We're told he's currently in critical condition. It seemed like every police officer in the state was looking for this man, including U.S. Marshals, as he was connected to a total of six homicides in Highland Park, River Rouge, and Detroit. We were working around the clock with Detroit and uh, a huge task force, you know, for the last several days, 24 hours. U.S. Marshals did, however, also make another arrest, taking a woman into custody. It's believed that she may have been an accomplice in hiding Brown. I said this in an earlier presser, that we believe there were some folks that were aiding him, concealing him. Uh, we're going to pursue that as well. And we're still waiting on a name and a list of charges for that person that was recently arrested. Of course, once we find out all that information, we'll keep you guys updated. Reporting live tonight in Oak Park, Victor Williams, Local 4. Indeed. All right, Victor, thanks.